Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Uh, today I want to speak about epic heroes in general uh, because epic heroes are easily uh, awakened. Uh, it's easy to awaken uh, their skill which means it's easy to get a lot of shards and for, to, for a free to play player uh, this is the main aim, right? To have as much awakened epic heroes as possible. There are not a lot of epic heroes in the game but there are some really really good ones, some average ones and some bad ones. First of all, we need to understand what makes Epic Hero good, which like, like S, S, S plus tier. What makes a hero to be a S plus tier? Well, it should be versatile, you should be able to use it in many different ways, right? And uh, as you already uh, know, if you are playing Call of Dragons, Waldir is always S plus tier because uh, he is useful in many different ways. First of all, it's good because a lot of players, a lot of free-to-play players are playing with mages. And if you're playing with mages, Walder is your main priority. Even uh, if you don't uh, pay a single dollar like me to obtain Lilia, uh, like as you know, Meta is Lilia Welin as a pair, you can go with Walder with... Uh, well in and it will be amazing combo also if you are awakening a wall deer, uh, you will get a great great skill which enables you to hit two nearby legions it's like aoe damage also uh, every skill which uh, Walder has is good in the battlefield like everything is useful there is no like garrison or anything skills like for example here is damage factor here is a hp bonus and magic attack bonus uh, here is skill skill damage and shield for a battlefield so it's easy to understand that if you are if you like to fight a lot if you like to do a dragon tail or anything uh Walder is a great great choice second of all Second hero, which I will put on an S plus tier, is Gwenwin. Uh, Gwenwin is actually my favorite epic hero. She is very useful. First of all, she is a peacekeeping champion, a peacekeeping hero, uh, which means it will be easy for you to level up uh, her. Uh, she is a marksman. She is not as, as amazing as Walder in the battlefield, but she is a better than average, and it's it's good for epic hero. Also. Uh, in behemoths, behemoths are people for behemoths killing is for people who like to uh, play this game uh, in PvE too, uh, like killing behemoths, doing more damage than anyone. Then Gwenwin is your main choice. Even if you have a better legendary heroes, uh, Gwenwin will be much much better in behemoths because sh uh, she has a poison damage, and whenever you are killing a Behemoth, uh, it, it has a lot of HP, and your poison damage is gi giving you a lot of DPS in the whole fight. So, as you know, like she's, she's better than average in the battlefield, amazing for leveling up peacekeeping, and perfect for Behemoth's killing. What comes on S tier? Well, S and A tier are, are kind of the same, but I will put Eliana on S tier, She's not better or as good as Walder or Gwenwin, but she's uh, great uh, by herself. It's very, very easy to awaken her. Uh, there is an event called Eliana's Dolls. You're uh, obtaining the dolls, you're killing the uh, group of enemy in the map, and you will be getting a free shards, which means it is really, really easy for you to awaken Eliana too. Also, Eliana is an overall hero, which means there is like if you want to use marksmen, you can use marksmen. You can use uh, cavalry. You can use mages. Like every type of legion can be useful with Eliana. Okay, and she has a support, uh, but she can be amazing for garrison. Like garrison with Bahar and Eliana uh, is amazing because uh, she has a lot of shielding, a lot of healing, uh, defensive bonus, damage reduction. She is great. So as you as you already understand, she can be useful with many different legions. She can be useful for peacekeeping, which means leveling up, and she can be useful and great and amazing in garrison. That's why I put Eliana on my 
S tier, like one tier below Waldir and Gwenwin. What comes next? Next comes two heroes which are good in a specific with a specific legendary hero. By themselves, they are not a, not as great. But if you if you put a good legendary hero as a primary with them, they are amazing. One is Atheus. Atheus is amazing with Thea because Atheus is, Atheus is giving a uh, like bonuses, rage um, uh, accumulation bonus. Uh, damage reduction, lot of stuff, like Thea and Atheus are buffing themselves and then they are making themselves even stronger. That's why I put Atheus on A tier and Craig. Uh, Craig has a high uh, damage factor on his skills, but by himself he, he is not that great. But uh, Craig is amazing with new hero called Fragar. If you uh, put Fragar on a primary and Craig on, Craig on a secondary, both of them are flying units, they are perfect. That can be useful in Battlefield or anywhere in the game. After that it comes, uh, I will put these heroes together, Bahar is only good in Garrison, uh, Alistar is like a filler for a cavalry legion, not 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 great, but not not too bad. And Alwyn is just debuffing hero. Like uh, these three has uh, only one good way of playing, like Bahar Garrison. Al Alist Alistar is a like filler, and Alwyn is just debuffer. And the last one is Pen. Pen is gatherer. Actually, Pen is one of the best gatherers in the game, especially for the wood. Uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna talk much about Pen because it's not fighting hero. So, Walder and Gwenwin, because they are good in a multiple ways of playing this game, uh, and it's easy to obtain their uh, shards. Eliana, same, but not as good as Walder and Gwenwin. Uh, Ethios and Craig, because they are specifically good with, with, with a... Uh, one specific legendary heroes and the B tier is uh, for the heroes which are good only in one type of one type of gameplay. I hope my review was good for you guys. I'm making videos with my own experience, like I'm playing the game as much as possible. I'm 100% fit to play, which means I don't even have Lilia, and I got like 30 million power. Uh, like and whenever I'm ha I have a new video, it, it means that I played this game. I understood why, when, what is good and what is bad, and only after that I will be making a video. I hope everything you you watched was likable for you. If you have a different opinion, feel free to share, because this game is a, a big game. There is a many different opinions and many different ways of playing this game in general. Um, there we go. Bye bye. Have a great night and day.